Getting apostrophes right. Plurals of words used as words. Hello, English language learners. Welcome to our next installment in the series, Grammar Fundamentals. In this video, we'll be tackling a peculiar topic, apostrophes for plurals, particularly focusing on the section called plurals of words used as words. Sounds complicated? Don't worry, we'll simplify it for you. Let's start with the basic premise. Usually, we use an apostrophe in English to show possession, John's book, or contraction, isn't. However, when it comes to creating plurals of words used as words, things can get a bit tricky. When we say, words used as words, we're talking about instances where you might need to discuss words themselves, for example, when teaching English grammar. Here's an example. How many ands are in the sentence? It would be confusing to write ands as ands, as it may look like the word and followed by a grammatical error. Instead, it's often written as ands to make it clear. Important. This usage is not universally accepted and is typically avoided in formal writing. However, it's worth knowing about because you may encounter it in certain contexts. While it's rare, there are times when you might want to use an apostrophe to form the plural of a word. This usually happens when not using an apostrophe would create confusion. 1. Lowercase letters. We use apostrophes when creating the plural of lowercase letters to prevent confusion. Example, mind your P's and Q's. 2. Uppercase letters. When it comes to uppercase letters, you'll see different practices. Some use apostrophes, others don't. Example, she got straight as or A's on her report card. 3. Words as words. As we discussed earlier, Sometimes you'll see words as words pluralized with apostrophes, especially in informal writing. Example, I need to work on my maybes. 4. Numbers and symbols. Some writers use apostrophes to pluralize numbers, symbols, or other unusual items. Example, the 1990s or 1990s were a great decade. Remember, this is not a common practice and is often considered incorrect in formal writing. When in doubt, consult a style guide. That wraps up our discussion on the use of apostrophes for plurals of words used as words. Remember, this is a specific and uncommon usage of apostrophes, but it's still important to understand because you may encounter it in various contexts. The English language is full of exceptions and unique circumstances. The more you learn, the more you'll understand these nuances. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.